Peace be with you, child of God. I'm just here to share the word of God with you and to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed is the name of the Lord. And whenever you are watching this video, just share it with with uh, just share it in all the platforms. Share this video in the name of Jesus Christ, and God shall bless you. Share this video so that it can reach unto a lot of people. Share this video so that so that it can reach to the lost ships of the Lord, so that the lost ships of the Lord can see the light, so that they can know the truth, the truth of King Jesus, the truth of our Lord King Jesus. Praise the Lord, Son of God. My name is Prophet M. J. Joseph, Demo Destroyer. Praise the Lord. I'm going to share with you in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 35. Praise the Lord. I'm going to share with you in the book of Romans, chapter 8, verse 35. The Bible says, Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall trouble or hardship or persecution or famine or nakedness or danger or sword? 36 it says, As it is written, for your sake we face death all day long. Praise the Lord. We were considered as sheep to be slaughtered. No, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. Praise the Lord. Child of God, persecution should not separate us from the love of King Jesus. It should not separate us from the love of Christ himself. Praise the Lord. Hardship, famine, nakedness or danger or sorrow. Should not separate us, praise the Lord. Should not separate us from the love of our Lord King Jesus of Nazareth, Christ Himself, praise the Lord. Through Him who loved us, through King Jesus Christ Himself, we are more than conquer. We are more than conquer through Him, praise the Lord. No matter what happens to us, child of God, no matter where we are, we can never be lost to His love. The love of King Jesus Christ himself. Praise the Lord. Suffering should not drive us out or should not drive us away from our Lord King Jesus. Praise the Lord. Because he is the one who can heal us. He is the one who can restore us. Praise the Lord. When you continue to the verse 30, Romans chapter 8, 35, 38, it says, For I am convinced that neither death no life, neither angels, nor demons, neither the present or the future, nor any powers, praise the Lord, neither height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God, praise the Lord, that is in Christ Jesus our Lord, praise the Lord. Believers have always had to face hardship in many forms, persecution, illness, imprisonment, praise the Lord, even death. This could cause them to fear that they have been abandoned by our Lord King Jesus. I'm here to tell you, child of God, whether you are going through a lot, King Jesus has not abandoned you. Whether you are in prison, King Jesus has not abandoned you. Praise the Lord. Whether you are sick, King Jesus has have not abandoned you. Praise the Lord. So I'm here to tell you, child of God, his death on the cross, just his death on the cross, he, he proved that he loved us. For King Jesus to die on the cross, it is a proof that he loved us. He loved me and you, praise the Lord, child of God. So we should feel totally secure in King Jesus. We should feel totally secure in King Jesus. We should not fear anything. We should not be afraid of anything, praise the Lord. Because we have conquered through him. We have conquered through our Lord King Jesus. We have conquered through Christ himself. Praise the Lord. In King Jesus we have conquered, child of God. Hallelujah. Let's continue now. I want us to go to the book of James chapter 4 verse 7. The book of James chapter 4 verse 7. The Bible says, Submit yourself to God. Submit yourself then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Praise the Lord. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners. And purify your hearts, you double-minded. This is verse 8. It says, come near to God. As a child of God, come near to God and he will come near to you. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, wash your hands, you sinners. And purify your hearts, you double-minded. Praise the Lord. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Praise the Lord. The Bible says in verse 10, it says, humble yourself before the Lord. 
Humble yourself before the Lord, and He will lift you up. By the time you humble yourself before the Lord, He shall lift you up in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So, child of God, Satan is trying to win us over to his evil cause. With the Holy Spirit power of God, we can resist the devil, child of God, and he shall flee from us. The Bible says, come near to God, and he will come near to you. How can you come to God? Submit to God. Yield to his authority and his will. Commit your life to him and his control. Praise the Lord. Be willing to follow him. Be willing to follow him with all your heart. In the name of Jesus. Number two, resist the devil. This is how you can come to God. Resist the devil. Don't allow Satan to entice or to tempt you. Praise the Lord. Wash your hands. Number three, wash, wash your hands and purify your heart. Wash your hands and purify your heart. That is, live a pure life. Live a pure life. Praise the Lord, child of God. Live a pure life. Be cleansed from sin. Replace your desire to sin with your desire to experience God's purity. Praise the Lord. The last one. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will lift you up. As a child of God, humble yourself before the Lord, and he shall lift you up in the name of Jesus Christ. Humbling yourself, it involves walking with power according to his guidance. Not with our own effort. That was my message, child of God. And I'm just here to tell you, child of God, whatever that you are going through, whether illness, whether persecution that you are going through, I'm just here to tell you that King Jesus is with you. I'm here to tell you that, child of God, King Jesus loves you so much. Praise the Lord. King Jesus loves you so much. Right now, I want to pray for people who are saying, we are sick. If you are there and you are saying you are sick, you are saying you are going through a lot. Right now, King Jesus shall restore you in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray, whenever you are watching this video, and touch where you have pain right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May that pain go in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that is hindering you in the name of Jesus, that is hindering your healing, right now in the name of Jesus, I rebuke it in the name of Jesus. I command your spirit to come out of the body right now. I command you to come out of the body of the children of God right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing right now. I release the supernatural healing power right now. It is touching you right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing. Receive your healing. Receive your restoration in the name of Jesus. Receive your restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive restoration. Receive restoration in the mighty name of Jesus. There's a person right now, the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. You are having some, some pains. You are having some pains. Right now, you are having some pains by the ribs right now in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm praying for you right now. King Jesus is healing you in the name of Jesus. King Jesus is healing you right now in the name of Jesus. The power of healing is touching you. The power of the Holy Ghost is touching you right now in Jesus' name. I decree in the name of Jesus. And I agree in the name of Jesus Christ. You are healed in Jesus' name. And whoever is sick, touch where there's pain. Touch where there's pain. Whether you are having high blood, I pray for you. May your blood be normal in the name of Jesus Christ. May your blood be normal. Whether high blood, whether low blood, may your blood, I command it to be normal. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus. I pray for any sickness that is in your body. I rebook it to come out in the name of Jesus. I rebook that sickness to come out in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now in the name of Jesus. You are healed in Jesus' name. And you shall testify. And whenever you are. If you have testimony, just comment there. You are healed in Jesus' name. You are healed in Jesus' name. Right now, I pray for you. May you be cleansed from sin in the name of Jesus. May, may you live a pure life in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for you. May you commit your life to King Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you commit your life to his control in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you be willing to follow him in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. May you yield to his authority and his control in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May you submit to God in the mighty name of Jesus. May you submit to King Jesus in the name of Jesus Christ. May the devil not entice you May the devil not tempt you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. 
Blessed is the name of the Lord King Jesus. Blessed is the name of the Lord King Jesus. Blessed is the name of the Lord King Jesus. You are blessed, child of God. Peace be with you in Jesus' name. You shall testify. God bless you.